YouTube, what's up? Marcos here from Made by Krosky, and today I'm gonna be showing y'all how to make a visualizer just like from Drake's single, Search and Rescue. The only project that I had to use for this visualizer was After Effects, so nothing too crazy. So with that much to say, let's hop into this video. Okay, so we're in After Effects right now, and the first thing that I gotta do is make my composition size. So for YouTube format size, it's gonna be 1920 for the width and 1080 for the height. Once I created that, I'm gonna drag in the cover from Search and Rescue. So the first step to make this visualizer was that I had to duplicate the cover three times in a row. So to do that in After Effects, it's gonna be Control D on your keyboard. Now, if you go up here to the top toolbar and click this pen tool, we're not gonna make different masks for each layer so for the first layer i just cut out the girl and then the second layer i'm gonna cut out drake and once you've done all that you're not gonna go over to your presets and we're gonna add this one called gaussian blur and so basically right here we're gonna add four different keyframes so the main thing that you want to focus on is just the timing of the keyframes. So for example, right, like in the original visualizer, when the camera's focused on Drake, you know, he's nice and clear, but then the girl's all blurred out. And then vice versa, when the camera was on the girl, you got Drake all blurred out. So the layer with the girl on it, the first keyframe of the blur effect is gonna start at zero. And then the second keyframe is gonna be around like 25 to 30%, it's really up to you. And vice versa with Drake, the first keyframe is gonna be at 25%, so he's gonna be all blurred out at the start. And then the second keyframe is gonna go back down to zero. You know, that way we can get that transition going. Once that is all done, I'm now gonna pre-compose all the layers together. Once that is done with the pre-composed layer, I'm gonna drop down to transform and position, and same thing for keyframes. And once again, just make sure that the timing of these keyframes are the same as the Gaussian blur effect. Now this is the fun part, we're gonna add our effects and all that. So the first effect that I added on here was called Mood Amorphous. Pretty much it's a lighting effect. You know, think of it like when the clouds cover the sun, that's kind of the lighting that we're going for. So pretty much you just wanna play around with the settings and see what fits best for your project. Now the second effect we're gonna add is a camera shake. So with effects and presets, you're gonna type in wiggle. And there's two different ways to go about it. You could add wiggle rama, which adds like all your rotating, scaling, and all those effects all in one. Um, honestly, I don't really like to do that. I kind of like to do everything separately. So I'm gonna go over and just add the wiggle position, wiggle scale, and wiggle rotation. And I just put it around the settings to the best of my like. Either way, you get the same result with the effect. I just like to do it, you know, just separately, but you know, you can add wiggle ROM on there if you want. And the last effect we're gonna add is a overlay. You can pretty much find these off YouTube, like, you know, type in wind dust particle overlay or something like that, and you'll find videos like these. So I pretty much just added this overlay right here. Just change the blend mode to screen and bam. And with the final touches, here is the final result. If you guys found this video really helpful i'd appreciate it if you guys could drop a like and drop a comment on you know what else i could teach y'all and with that much to say thank you guys for watching this video and we'll see you guys in the next one peace